All right, and welcome back to Madden Ultimate Team. We're doing our training season. We're going up against the preseason Bears, and uh, we looked pretty dominant against the preseason. I, I want to emphasize that because they are former Super Bowl champions, and it took me a while to realize that we were playing in uh, <laughs> preseason. We got a quick game going up against Chicago Bears here today. Our ultimate team, we're looking pretty good. Blake Bortles at the helm. Uh, Hill in the background, and uh, Austin Pettis, Lloyd, and uh, Mercedes Lewis rounding out our offensive uh, attack as we wait and see if our defensive game can hold uh, the Bears exactly like we did the Seattle Seahawks. The Seattle Seahawks got two yards on the ground, and those yards were negative. We absolutely stuffed Marshawn Lynch. We did not give them a chance on offense. Hopefully, we can keep that pace up here and put on a good show. Here we go. We're at TCF Bank Stadium. We're at home. Look at our team. Uh, not the greatest team in the world, but with Mike McCarthy getting in our ear, really, really hyping us up. Rainy back. And it looks like, are we getting the kick or are we kicking off? I don't believe I saw it. And, yes, we are getting the kick. Robbie Gould to kick it away. Here we go. Bears versus the Tubby Emu Rams. Let's get it started. Here we go. And it's booted off. First kick of the game. Here we go. Looks like there's a huge opportunity to run for yards. He's going to bust to the side. He's got it wide open. He busted him. Thought he was going to bust it all the way down for a touchdown, but he spun on accident with a 37-yard return. I'm not even sure who our return guy is. I do apologize. Blake Bortles dropping back in the pocket. We're going to watch Austin Pettis. Pettis is going to be cutting across. Pettis exactly like he should be cutting across. And uh, a little bit uh the pass was a little bit behind him, a little bit more ahead of him. He could have had a little bit more room to run. Room to run? Yes, a little bit more room to run as uh, we get our words a little uh, messed up there. Uh, in the backfield. Hill waiting for the handoff from Bortles. He's got him busted on the side. He could be gone. Oh, he cuts a tackle, and he, I think he came back a few yards as uh, he gave up a couple yards. He thought he could break both defenders, try to get him that little bit of whoop de loop but uh, it turned out to backfire just a little bit. Lloyd's going to be in motion here. Pettis coming across the middle. Blake Bortles, there's Lloyd in motion. Lloyd, but he's got a guy right down the field. Beautiful catch. Blake Bortles connecting. Oh, man, that was just a great pass right across the middle. Blake Bortles looking absolutely fantastic. I never thought I would have said the day when Blake Bortles would be making moves. As uh, Here we go, handoff. He's got him beat. This could be all she wrote going for the touchdown, and there it is. Touchdown, Tubby Emu Rams looking absolutely great to start the season. Watch this. He, gets, he picks up a great tackle there. That tackle was absolutely superb. And then Lewis, Mercedes Lewis comes in. That's what a tight end should do, allowing for him to get in there, get the touchdown. Now Bullock looking to just put one through. This one is just a chip shot. And the Tubby Emu Rams with seven seconds left to go in the quarter, already up 7-0. This is what the Rams fans want to see. This is what we need after Sam Bradford's out for the year. This is exactly the type of thing. If we can get Quinn and Chris Long on the D-line, I think I'd be pretty happy as uh, is going to bust something open, but no, gets taken down at about the 25. Four seconds left to go. Here's Jay Cutler getting his first opportunity here out to come out. Who are we going to play on the line? I think we're going to go with uh, not Ruben. I think we're going to play as McCarthy, try to bust the line here. It's going to be a handoff to Matt Forte on the left side. Uh, Forte. Getting stuffed in the background. I would have had him a little bit before. But you can see our defense stuffing him. He's already negative one yards, just like we did with Marshawn Lynch. The strategy is working as Trusnick has been waiting patiently. And he uh, goes to find another gap. But Trusnick blows his coverage. Trusnick was supposed to drop back a little bit and watch the over. But I uh, got a little greedy when that pocket caved wide open. And I uh, went in for the sack. Sanford once again gives up his guy. Tries to go for the sack. Gets a little greedy as Jay Cutler able to find him across. And uh, no huddle offense here. Trying to hurry things along. 
Jay Cutler gets taken down in the background. That's how we do it. And uh, that drops to what? Fourth and uh, third and nine. And they're in a hustle offense. Trusnick. Trusnick is going to bring it. Is he going to get in the backfield? And yes, again, he's going to get stuffed. The ball is out, but it does get recovered by the Chicago Bears. Matt Forte, as you can just watch, Jay Cutler gets absolutely destroyed. I don't, I'm not sure if it was Matt Forte or if it was uh, one of the linemen that came up with the ball. But a beautiful job here by the Rams D, holding the Bears to absolutely nothing. The punt almost gets blocked as uh, I think they're just going to let this one go. No, they're not going to let it go. They're trying to. They should have, only bringing it out to about the 14-yard line. Had they let it bounce out, they could have probably got to about the 20. Here we go. Rams looking to take the offense for the second time in the game. The first time they were unstoppable. Blake Bortles with the passes. Let's see. Hill. Ebron in motion. Hill running to the outside. Hill. He's got a block. He's got a chance to go. Gets taken down for about an eight-yard run there. Hill is on an absolute roll here. He's looking absolutely spectacular in these preseason games. Blake Bortles, I think Blake just called an audible on the field. Yes, yes, Blake Bortles did just call an audible. He saw something that we did in the booth, apparently. Pettis is going to be cutting across the center. Pettis, wide open Pettis. He's got a bust one man, perfect block. Austin Pettis with a huge return. What a catch from Austin Pettis. Oh, man, and that goes in at halftime. That should have ended it right there. I thought I thought he was gone. I thought it should have been 14 to nothing. But as you can see, the half so far, Hill and Pettis and Blake Bortles really showing him who's boss. As you can see, 69 pass yards, 44 rushes, time of possession. Really nothing going on for the Chicago Bears here in preseason play, which, granted, it is preseason play. You got to give them a little bit of a – Benefit of the doubt, and yes, we are playing shorter quarters, but what are you going to do? And here we go. The kick is off. Bullock pushes it down the field. And he's going to get – no, he's not going to get taken down. I thought he was going to bust wide open, but at the 30 with a shoestring tackle to take him down. Oh, shit. Wow, thanks, bruh. Mr. – Telling me about it. All right, here we go. I can feel it. I'm loving this. Ultimate team making me feel like I actually have a chance here. As uh, Jay Cutler drops back. But he's going to get shut down. And the ball is fumbled. Recovered by the Rams. Awesome job. We need to take another look at that. As he absolutely destroyed. I believe that was Matt Forte who lost the ball. Let's go ahead and take another look at it. Instant replay. Matt Forte is going to get the ball, and he is just about to get destroyed. Jay Cutler hands it off, and uh, who's the guy that went in for the tackle? It was it was Trusnick. Trusnick just doesn't even do anything, just puts a hit on him, and then it gets picked up. The linemen go down. Awesome job there by the Rams to recover the ball, and they get it right back. This is all Rams all the time as Hill now looking to make some moves. Hill trying to get to the outside. If he catches the block, he'll be fine. He jukes a little bit. Is he going to get the first down? He's going to be just – I think they're going to short him just a bit short by about a half a foot unless they give it – no, they are not. They're going to spot it just a bit short. It is second and inches. Hill in the backfield. I think they're calling an audible. Nope, they're not. Hill is going to run straight up the middle with a juke to the right. You can see him just pushing him off. And at that 10-yard line, the Rams looking unstoppable here in preseason. Blake Bortles could be the future quarterback. As uh, Here they go. Blake Bortles is running. Oh, Blake Bortles got destroyed, and I think he's injured. I think it's Casey Keenum's time to come in. He should have flicked the ball when he had the chance. He is holding his shoulder in pain. You can see that. Blake Bortles' career with the Rams may, in fact, be over as we wait for it. There you get a look at Casey Keenum, who now has to come into the game, who really hasn't gotten any snaps at all. It has been all Blake Bortles all the time. Here it goes. Now it's up to him. 
As he catches a break, Hill to the outside, going to get taken down, trips over his own man. I think that part of that has to weigh down knowing that now Casey Keenum's coming in the game. And Casey Keenum, great quarterback in his own right, but he has no Blake Bortles. And uh, it'll take a little bit while. It'll take a little while to get used to him in the offense. As he goes for the pass, almost gets picked off. Because Casey Keenum not starting off the game great already. Uh, he's just got a bruised shoulder. I think we're going to go ahead and put Bortles back in. Going to go for that field goal opportunity. Beautiful shot. Boomed it through the uprights. The Rams are up 10 0. Chicago Bears can't get anything going here. As you can take a look at Bullock, he knows what's going on. They're going to boot it to the end zone this time. Let's see if we can absolutely get it to the end zone. We want this one to be a touchback. He booms it. No, not even close at the 10 yard line. Let's see what he can do. Returning it from the 10. Gets absolutely three men. That must have been an orgy. As he gets taken out, and a lot of these guys are preseason guys. I'm not sure a lot of them who they are, but Trusnick, he's been the guy to watch here on defense. He's gotten the tax, the sacks, and uh, he almost got another one, but once again, Matt Forte getting taken down with another two, ne two negative two-yard gain there. Really uh, not getting anything going at all for Matt Forte. Not the typical Matt Forte we are used to as they are shifting, but Trusnick, he sees the hole, and once again, Jay Cutler getting sacked in the background, and I think that's going to be all she wrote for the Chicago Bears. I don't think they have a chance. As Trusnick going to get the sack, he's got to throw it away to the outside. The Rams are on a roll. The Rams are going to get the ball back. If they can just stop him here, and it's third and nine. No, it's fourth and 15, and they are going for it. Cutler back to try to make something happen. Five men on the line. Trusnick sees an opening. Going to get sacked. Almost gets the first down, but out of nowhere. Jean-Baptiste lays him out. And here we go. Rams have an opportunity to make it 17 to, 17 to nothing. Here we go. Hill. Keenum. If I'm Keenum, I got I to let Keenum get some passes in. I, don't, I wouldn't be running it constantly. I've got to let him at least get some attempts to try to work on his pass game. If uh, Bortles is out, not exactly sure what the uh, – oh, Bortles is back in. Excuse me. Beautiful throw from Blake Bortles. Beautiful catch as the Bears call timeout. Mike McCarthy, he knows what's going on. As uh, No, we don't want to do a sweep. We're going to go formation. We're going to be. We're gonna gun it. We're going to let him see what he can do. Blake Bortles already proving why he is the number one quarterback this year. I think Blake Bortles might outshine Johnny Football 100%. Lewis, Evans, Pettis to the flank. Here we go. Snaps the ball. Blake Bortles, here we go. Looking for a guy. He's going to hit the, the flank route outside, and uh, it's going to be about a three- or four-yard gain there. Not much, but when they're trying to accomplish what they already have, they have the lead. There's no need to have an unnecessary interception or risk here that turns the ball over and allows the Chicago Bears to score as they wait in the background. Blake Bortles takes the snap. Bortles getting out of the pocket. Blake Bortles finds him in the end zone, but he is not able to hold on to it. As uh, Kahute, was that Kahute? I'm not sure what the name was on that one. I can't see it. I can't. Uh, Conte? Oh, is it Conte? Catches the ball, but unable to squeeze it with those fingers. A little bit of butter fingers, but what can you do here? It's third and six. Blake Bortles dropping back. Shotgun formation. And uh, it's going to be a run. It's going to be a run. Only able to get it up to about the uh, two yards short of the first down. That's not going to be enough. Field goal opportunity. Here we come. St. Louis Rams are going to be up 13-3. to Preseason action against the Bears. There it is. Up through the uprights. And it is good. <sighs> Getting that work in. in. And now it's just a matter of time. I think he's just going to squib it away, let them try to just end the clock here. Really no need to do much as the ball. Is it going to bounce? No, it's not going to bounce. It's going to get taken and gets absolutely destroyed. Oh, my God. Weems got absolutely. Do we have a replay of that one? I think Weems, Weems got absolutely destroyed on that one. Weems went for the ball. He comes in. And uh, who's the guy with a hit? Who's the one that laid it down on him? Was it uh, 
Was it Ford or was it Sanford? Ford just decks him. You can see the quality of that one. As you can see, he's running. He sees, uh, I think he saw daylight, and bam! He's like, I don't think so. Sit him down, but not much they can do in a minute. They are down three scores. Actually, excuse me, they are down two scores. They're not down three. I thought we had scored before that. As Trusnick trying to lead his defense, and Trusnick once again getting in the background. Trusnick making a name for himself. If I'm uh, the player, I got to give the player of the game to Trusnick. Absolutely putting the... Oh, again, Trusnick had an opportunity. Jay Cutler's just got to throw it away. The Rams' defense absolutely in prime position as Jay Cutler is not able to get anything going whatsoever. If I'm Jay Cutler, my mind right now is trying to get anything. I don't care if it's a short pass, a long pass. We've got to complete something, and they are able to get a pass up the middle, but that's not going to be enough. Time is going to be winding down as uh, they're going for it on fourth and ten. Wide open. He's looking for anything, and he gets shut down. A yard short turnover. Rams ball. And I, I don't think we're going to need it. I think we want to go for it. Screw it. Let's see what we can do. We, we, we've got a good team. Let's see if we can get Hill in there, try to get some running yards, try to spice things up a little bit. We'll wear the clock down, but we do want to run a little bit. Going to the outside. Oh, he busted the corner. Oh, two men get taken down. I'm enjoying this so far as uh, P.A. Wiggle. Who do we got? I think he's going to try to go for a deep. Molbach, a second string tight end is in. Bortles has got way too much time. Bortles. Oh, I thought that was a little bit of a pass interference. He did push him a little bit. Jennings got a little close, but uh, they are going to let him get away with it. It is preseason. Let him play. As uh, Mike, uh, Mike McCarthy, I'm not sure what Mike McCarthy is telling Blake Bortles right now, but he wants to see something from him because Casey Keenum might possibly still have that starting job. He said, show me something, kid. So here we go, Blake Bortles to end the game. About to get sacked. Finds him across the middle with four seconds left to go. They get a timeout. This is I, I would not be doing this. If I'm Mike McCarthy, just let the clock run out. You've already won. You're up 13 to nothing, but Mike McCarthy is trying to make a statement to the Bears here. As he drops back, Blake Bortles looking for anything and everything. Finds a guy, but it's going to get, oh, my gosh, it almost got intercepted, and that'll do it as you check out what we get. We got 1,000 coins. Blake Bortles, let's go ahead and take a look at the stat. Blake was hurt for a little bit into the game he, uh, with that 103 rating. He went 6 for 9 with 99 yards. Jay Cutler couldn't get anything going, 5 of 7 for 52. Unfortunately, uh, his team just kind of let him down. Neither guy had a touchdown. As uh, you check out the rushing stats, as Jeremy Hill was able to get 65 yards off of uh, eight attempts, he was able to get in for a touchdown and uh, a fumble from Matt Forte. So not a good game for Forte. Preseason football brought to you by the Tubby Emu Network. Thank you for watching. We'll be back with more Madden Ultimate Team in the next.